Hey guys, what's up? It's Erin here from The Petite Planner and today's video is going to be my new bullet journal setup. And as you can see, I have decided to go with the tool. Now, this is just going to be my future log and some blog planning stuff and my health and fitness trackers because that is about all I realistically use. But first, I did want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Studio. These are wireless headphones and they are super amazing for working out. They have seven hours of playtime and then this little charging dock here. So as soon as you remove them, they go into pairing mode and they instantly pair with your phone. And then as soon as you put them back in the case, they unpair. So if you wanna check them out, be sure to check out the link that is in my description and we will get right into the planning section of this video. So for the future log here, I am using these stamps. They are from Waffle Flower. Now, I don't remember if I got these in the US or if I got them off of like Amazon UK. I will leave the link to either these or something very similar down below. I, for one, absolutely hate drawing out future logs. I think it is very redundant um, to have to write all the numbers again and again. But with this little stamp, it definitely helps. Now this is fast forwarded, so it did take longer than that. But once I got the hang of it, they came out pretty good. And all except December, since this future log runs July to December, were like crystal clear. December had a little bit of smudging and I probably should have wiped the stamp off since I had already used that specific stamp, but I forgot. And overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably notice that I am using yellow, which I don't think I've ever used um, as a standalone color. I've always used it in conjunction with other colors. I am such a pink person, but I am trying to venture out and try new colors and new things. So um, I did this one in a black and yellow scheme and I honestly really liked it. So for the yellow, I used a Crayola Super Tip, and for the monthly headers, I used the Tombow Foodie Soft. Realizing now, I probably should have used the Hard Tip Foodie Pen. It's just a little bit easier controlled in smaller situations. And then for this very top header here that says Future Log, I used the 1.5 Tip from Faber-Castell. And here lately, I've really been enjoying these thicker tips. I used to be super into really small pens, but I've really got into these big bold headers lately and I'm really enjoying how quickly they go with the bigger pen. Um, so what I did here was I just decided to kind of create this black and white kind of serif block format look and then I did some stripes on the top in yellow to give it the same theme as the rest. So with my future log, I just leave it like this and then I just kind of fill it in with birthdays and events as the week goes. So with the tool here, the weird thing is, is I have to like work page by page so I can only put one page back in at a time because that log side of the page now will have the other side of my blog planner. So this page is my blog stats page and it's what I use to keep track of overall like page views and people who are visiting my blog as well as my social media stats like Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. And this just kind of gives me an idea of how I'm doing in each of those areas or if I need to work on a specific area. And it just kind of allows me to also see trends over time. So aside from the boxes that you'll see in this video for things like trackers and stuff, um, I did try to freehand almost all of this without having to pre-draw anything out. And it makes my life go a lot quicker. I don't know if you do it, but I am notorious for sitting and penciling in entire spreads and then going back and going over them. And yes, this does ensure that you have like this picture perfect spread that doesn't have um, errors on it. But at the same time, it's very time consuming and I feel like it's very limiting to what you do. Um, but that's just my opinion. I'm just trying to free myself from this idea of perfection lately. Um, it has kind of retaken its toll on me and I feel inadequate and I'm just trying to let that go. And for me, I know that the easiest way to do that is just to go into something with very little or no expectation and just kind of go with it. And because that's usually actually when my best work happens, maybe not perfect, but it is my best work, like as far as just being me. So this bottom part are my stats trackers. So you will see that I draw the little icons on the left hand side and each of these boxes represents a month. So all of my pages here are spanning July to December. Um, this notebook can definitely accommodate past December, 
but I'll want to start fresh in January. It kind of helps me just refocus and regroup. So I'm only doing six months at a time. And so that is where I'll keep track of all my stats like followers and fans on each platform. Now, the second page that I'm going to do is very simple. If you're a blogger, though, or if you do YouTube or if you have an Etsy shop, I really like having one of these pages in my journal, and it's just a content planner, and it, I don't even really use it as a planner, as more of an idea bank for content that I want to create, because oftentimes my best ideas or things that I really haven't thought of previously come to me when I am just like sitting on the couch or when I am out and about, but I have my journal or something. So then I like to just write those ideas down. And then when I feel like I'm stuck for content, I have like this whole idea bank here that kind of gives me this, an idea of what to do. And I really enjoy it. So I split mine up into blogging content. So written content and then YouTube for video content, because although sometimes those things cross over, um, sometimes, or most of the time, I do very different things on the Petite Planner, the blog, versus the Petite Planner, YouTube. So um, it's just a handy little page. And then these last two pages that we're going to do are going to be my health and fitness pages. So the first one is my weight and measurements. If you guys have been on my channel or watched my previous journal setups, I pretty much have one of these in every journal. Um, being honest, I haven't been keeping up with my other one. And a lot of that is like when I start to backtrack, I find myself like trying to avoid tracking it, I guess, as a way to almost ignore what's happening. And I know that that's not healthy. So my goal is that, and when I started over in this journal was that I'm starting fresh. I'm giving myself a fresh start. There are no grudges held or anything like that. So I'm just going to go into it and say, you know, I'm going to do this and it's just going to be a disciplined thing regardless of if I backtrack, but the hope is that I won't. So I drew the little scale and then I did my header and then I'm going to have a weight log from July to December and each there will be dates. Um, so July 1st, July 15th, August 1st, August 15th, and so on through December. And that's at, about every two weeks. And that'll be pretty good for me. And then the bottom part is going to be my measurements tracker, which is what I'm most concerned and worried about, like what I really want to look at and see. Um, and those will just be taken monthly because your measurements don't usually fluctuate as much as your weight. So um, I will do those just monthly. So while I'm filling this in, I do want to give you a little bit of a news update. If you haven't been on my email list, if you're not on my blog, if you're only here on YouTube, it's totally okay. But I wanted to let you know that I am releasing a new complete doodle course on Teachable at the very beginning of August, on August 1st. But as a measure to see how interested people are and to just kind of get it out there, I am doing a pre-sale, pre-enrollment period before then and then you can get the course at half off so it'll it's only twenty dollars right now and that guarantees you updates and all future bonus lessons and everything to come so it's a really awesome offer it's going to be a super fun doodling course especially if you're new to doodling um, it's going to be a lot of fundamentals in the beginning and then we get into some more stylized stuff to help you create your own style and be creative and then in the future i have updates planned to help you maybe turn those into profitable ideas and turn your doodling and your artwork into passive income. So be sure to check out the link that is in the description. You will see it there. The course is called Delighted in Doodling. If you'd like to check it out and pre-enroll, there is still a short amount of time that pre-enrollment will be open. So the second page I'm creating, you guys may have seen on my Instagram before or somewhere else, this is going to be my workout log for the following six months. So I create a key, so it's kind of similar to a year in pixels, and then I pick what I want to include in my key area. So for me, that's going to be cardio, strength, and yoga, and then each has a color or a pattern that I can fill in. And then I fill in each day, and it kind of motivates me. This is probably one of my biggest workout motivators, and that for some people that may come off really weird, you know, like you're motivated by just filling in a simple tracker, but I am. And um, so it helps keep me going. Like when I look and I'm like, oh, I don't want to have a blank spot there. You know, I've only had like two days of straight workouts. I want to do one more, two more. So then I can fill them in as I do them. And then at the end of the year, it's a way to look back and see your achievements and be proud of yourself. 
And in the past, I've done 12 month trackers, but my journals never seem to last 12 months or I end up switching or something. And so this time I'm definitely just doing the six and I think that I can actually get through that and fill it in all the way. Where before I had 12 month trackers and then I'd fill them in for six months and as soon as I migrated to a new journal, I didn't migrate over my fitness tracker in hopes that I'd continue to use it and then I never did. So for this, I am again just using these Crayola Super Tip markers. Um, I use them throughout most of the setup. The only Tombow that I used was for the pink header on the blog pages. Um, and I just used one because I, I really like that color. It's probably my favorite Tombow color. <laughs> but I will be sure to leave a full list of all the supplies that I used down in the description below if you want to check them out. And that, for the most part, is the wrap-up of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like this video. And if you want to see more from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the end, and I will see you in my next video.